So behind us, you can see a big building called Posta Glovna. It's like the big central post office. Quite a similar word in, in Russian. Pochta, meaning post. We're just going to enter in front of us. We're entering kind of the inside of this of the town square, the main town square. But behind us, you can see nice round, a um, nice bit of greenery. And actually, this goes in a, like a kind of a horseshoe shape all the way around the main square, and that encapsulates the town square, all the roads off of it as well. And it's kind of like I think these uh, these greenery bits here. They used to be a moat around the inside of the the old city. I think it's where the king used to live like years and years ago. I'm not exactly sure, but someone I'm sure will be able to look it up and tell me that I'm wrong again, as I usually am. Oh, look what I've seen. Veronica's here, and look what I've seen. Can you see it? Maybe you couldn't see it. It's a McDonald's. Can you see it? Yeah, I can. <laughs> I can see it. Oh, well, she's gonna turn into a potato. She keeps eating all these, or turn into a burger. <laughs> you don't eat boogers or burgers? Burger. A booger is something you get from your nose. I hope you don't eat those. Burgers, I eat them every like, week, every month. No, we don't. We don't usually eat them, but this is kind of different circumstances. Like, uh, because then you promised me McDonald's, like, like where is McDonald's? Because you promised me they have it in McDonald's, so i not going to ask anymore about McDonald's, maybe okay. next month. Maybe it'll be Burger King next, who knows. Anyway, as you can see, it's like cobbled stones everywhere. Really nice. What do you think of it? Nice. Nice? Just but, nice? But what is that kiosk? Nagrodsky. Uh, what is kiosk? Yeah, it's an old kiosk. I don't know. Kiosk Nagrodsky. I don't know what it means. It's a kiosk of something. I'm sure someone will be able to work that out as well. But we're just going to go into the main square and later we're going to see the castle north of the square and coming from the north side but if you just pass this wonderful theatre now I'm not sure of the name Julioska I'm gonna pronounce it so badly Slovaski if you read Polish let me know I think that's wrong but anyway look actually everywhere here they've got Ukrainian flags Show their support. Oh, she doesn't like the no, okay. Not today, Vic Veronica. Next time. And they could try someone else. So we've got a man. I don't know who it is, but it's obviously something to do. It's Alexandra Fredro. Now I don't know who he is. He had a good life. He lived he lived until he was 81 years old. Um from the last two centuries ago. But if you can see, like this, this is what I mean. It reminds me of Lviv. Do you remember Veronica? You showed us the opera house. Look at this one up here. You can see they've got some beautiful statues. This one doesn't have her bum out though, does she? No, none of these have their bums out. But if you don't like music, but there's a drama and comedia. Yeah, it's like a drama comedia. It's a theatre. It's just got lots of buildings like this. It's kind of like a really old. I don't even know what kind of the architecture. It's not Gothic or Baroque. I don't know, but. Somebody will tell me, I'm sure. You can, I, I, like I say, I'm just holding a camera, showing you. You can give me all the information. Okay. So just around the corner, you have the Krakow Museum. Um, we'll try and go in there. Victoria and Veronica are just going for some, for a drink. And just down here, you'll have the, the main gate, Florianska Gate. It's one of the main gates to the north of the city, or the north of this small square. So when they come out, we're going to go around there. But look at this. It's lovely. It's just such a clean city, you know, such a, such a lot of history. Such a clean city. People are friendly here. That's what it reminds me of Lviv, you know. People are the same, the city's the same. And you can tell from this video, if you didn't know already, that Lviv, or it used to be called Lvov, was a part of Polish uh, territory. 100 years ago or so, I'm not exactly sure of the times. And what have we got here? We've got a nice horse coming through here. So, you wouldn't believe that a few hundred kilometres up the road, there's a wall going on. Look at these beautiful horses. Look at them. Wow, so beautiful. Dressed up like, um, dressed up like an old Cockney band. You know what I mean? Those, those old, uh, 
the people that were in Mary Poppins in the in the cartoon part of it. You remember those people that were singing in the band on the horse race? Yeah, that's what it reminds me. We're at the top. Where are we? Where are we? Okay. Where are we? We're at the top of the the north side of the of the square. You know better where we are. This here. This here is Florianska Gate. And it was an old gate, you know, in the corner of when this used to be a walled territory. And this was a secure place. Look how thick. Yeah, go on. Look how thick it is. It's about four meters, five meters thick, this wall. But this was one of the, the big places where they would stop people from coming in when there was attacks. But yeah, Florianska Gate. So this, this road is called Florianska. And look, the McDonald's again. So, so yeah, it's called, uh, look, it's called Ulitsa Florianska. I think it's Florianska. I think it's to do with flowers. I'm not sure. Someone will pick me up on that again. I'm just quoting these. Yeah. See if you can touch the dog. Yeah, where is it? Ask him if you can touch the dog. Okay, let's see. Ask him. No, she doesn't like it. No, she doesn't like it. Okay. So up here you've got um, art being sold all around. Wow, some of this is beautiful. And through here you've got another gate which goes to the other side of the, of the square. Um, this is all part of the old, it's all part of the old um, wall, you know, which would have been the fortress, I suppose, hundreds of years ago. And they've got a little joker here, I don't know what this is. There's a, there's a little statue here. A little statue here. Uh, I don't know who he is. He's Mercury. Mercury, the god. The god of thermometers? I don't know. That would be a good one for Mercury. I don't know who he is. I know Mercury was a god. I don't think that's the right one. But this is uh, Bertil Thorvaldsen. So, don't know. Try and Google it. We're, we're away at the moment, so you lot can Google it and let me know. It'll be a we lesson. We have made it to the main square. And if I turn around, you'll see a church in the corner. Now, look at this, guys. Every hour, every hour, there's a trumpeter right up there. And every hour of every day, he does it. I think he's a bugleist, and he does some bugle playing. Now, uh, hopefully, we'll catch that at some point. What do you want to say, Veronica? I can smell horses. You can smell horses, yeah, because look at them. What, can, what part of the horse can you smell? What part? Is it, is it the navos? <laughs> You can I smell their poo? Yeah. Oh, I can't. Yeah. I think it's a nice smell. Look how big this smell okay. Over here, this is uh, in, in a place, I think it's a museum underneath, but through there, which we're going to go in a minute, is where people are selling all souvenirs and uh, what things they've made, some cloth, you know, some touristy things. So we're going to go in there soon, but I just wanted to show you, let's go in the shade a minute. We're just going to wait for our friend here, actually. She should be here in five or ten minutes. So we're going to get out of the shade, oh, out of the sun into the shade. It's amazing how much the temperature drops. But look, all of the buildings here are superb. I just love them. There's even some new kind of buildings here, right next to the old ones. Look at this little person up here. I don't know what he's doing, but he's there. So yeah, if. Uh, if the trumpeter goes, then I will I will film it later. In the main square, we have got some protests. Well, not protests. It's about standing with Ukraine. So let's have a look. Za to, za tych, którzy już nie są z nami, którzy zginęli w tej walce. I, ta, i żeby pokój nas to jak najszybciej. Dziękujemy wszystkim. Sława Jezusu Chrystu! Szanowni, szanowni nasi bilici chrystianie. So even the police here are happy. It's a bit different from what's happening in Russia, right? The police here are happy to get involved with all of the protests or all of the support. You know, if this was Russia, all of these people would be getting beaten, 
and arrested. I even heard a story that they arrested a dog. Wasn't that true? Yeah. In Russia, they arrested an old no, lady. Not the dog. dog. Owner is dog. They, yeah, they arrested the old lady owner and they arrested the dog as well. And kids. And they put children in in prison for two hours. Six or seven year olds. And this because is the difference. The war, uh, against the war. Because they just want a normal life. Now, if that's not a dictatorship, then I don't know what is. But it's, I'm so proud. It gives me a lot of joy to see this happening. Other countries helping out our country. It's amazing. We're going to go into the building in the middle, and in here you're going to get lots of tourist things. People have made. Uh, they're selling them. Uh, it's always open. It's a bit touristic, but you've got some. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. It's a really beautiful place, and we will go through there at some point. But we're just walking to meet a friend. So. I'll give you a tour We're of that. Leaving bit. the main square. Finally met up with our friends. Say hello. Say hello. hello. So we're here. So actually, it could be like we're just walking down a street in Kiev. You know, it, um, it's, it's just normal now. We've got a bit more normality. And we're walking down a street called Grodska, which actually is where my friend got married. Um, I'll show you the church as we walk past. But we're heading down this way. And this is going to go all the way to the castle. So we're heading for the castle today. It's normal. It feels nice to be here. And you know what? I feel a lot more relaxed. Where are we walking? I don't know, I just walking straight. We want to walk straight? I think it's a good idea because straight is all the way to the castle. But what do you want to do at the castle? What do you want to do at the castle? We can go to the castle and then we can walk all the way along the river, yeah? Okay, let's try. They're miles behind back there, where are they? See you at the river. We are now walking down Grotska. Um, some of you will recognize this church very well. Um, it's actually a church where my friend got married. Um, beautiful, look at it. Look at the sculptures here. Really nice. Um, I was here nearly 10 years ago in this church. Um, it was a great day from what I remember. Uh, <laughs> the reception afterwards, there was a lot of vodka. And uh, we had a great time. Everyone was dancing. There were games. But here, it's right in the center of Krakow and it's so beautiful, you know, the, the architecture. Oh look, there's another horse coming by. And they're all over the place. Victoria, what do you think about this? Beautiful. What, what's, what's beautiful about it? Such a beautiful church. Why? I like it. Come on, I'm going to interview you then. What do you like about it? Daniel. Come on. You don't want to? I think I like these. Like all these figures. They are... Oh no, it's so amazing really. Okay, so we're gonna to head to the castle now. We're walking up to the castle now. Very steep hill here. I'm trying to film it without the sun in the way, but it's difficult. Veronica, are you gonna try and climb up? It doesn't look very steep, but it is. Yes, because there's uh, this office, like, uh, it could just go down like that. Yeah, I mean from here on the on the camera it doesn't look yeah, steep at all but it's it's kind of like that. You know, it's really Oh look this He's trying to climb down. But yeah, so we're gonna go up this way. Um What are you doing? Doing some sport. Okay so it's difficult to see because of the sun but we're gonna come up this way and we're gonna go into the castle but it's all cobbled paving everywhere. It's such an old city. Okay, let's go. Last time we were here, we went up. I'm sure we went up this one. I can remember going up this hill with Nick. Maybe. Um, it was a long time ago. I suppose we'll follow the crowd this way now. Uh, we'll go under this arch, get through to the main castle. And I really can't remember what's here. It's a long time since... We didn't come when we went, did we? I must have no. gone on my own when I was travelling Europe. I'm on my own, you know, having a good time. Before I was married. <laughs> oh, no, we're, no we're, we still have good times now, but in a different way, you understand. Uh, so we're now at the castle overlooking the river. 
Uh, yesterday we came from, a, not this bridge, not this bridge here, we came from the next bridge over. And through the tree, you can just see what I wrongly said I was a hot air balloon yesterday. I was quite uh, reprimanded for that by one of my friends. And she said, it's not a hot air balloon, it's a helium balloon. So right, yeah, you can see it just here. It's a helium balloon. And in, uh, in bad weather, maybe two years ago, I think, there was really bad weather, there was a storm and it hit a tree and exploded and uh, it went flying over flying over the road. I think it could be quite dangerous. We've also got like a, like a London Eye type thing next to it. We'll come over here, you'll be able to see it. Oh, you can see a much better view of it here, look. So you've got the, the helium balloon and then you've got the, the London Eye kind of thing here. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's really calm. So let's go and explore. Um, the castle has changed over the years, obviously. Uh, like the main part, which is over there. It would have joined up to here a long time ago. But inside now, it's all been rebuilt. And it's kind of like, it's got a little vibe of like a little village here, you know? Um, there's cafes, the best seats overlooking the river have been taken by people trying to make money from portrait drawings. And here it's like a courtyard. But some of this is original, you know, it's a long, it's very old. This is a nice place to be. As you can see, lots of people having their photographs taken. We're going to go this way so we don't get in their way. Look, having their photos taken. And we're just going to wait for the people we're with. Um, tour guides here. Tour gu okay, tell me where you're going. Don't go on the grass. What do you want to do? Photo? I'm taking a film. What are you, what are you trying to say? What do you think of this? In Russian it's called really bad words, like... This? What do you think of this castle? Do you like it? You don't like it? Oh, you can't speak. Well, look, it's... I think it's really calming. Um, and although there's not a lot of the, of the original castle left, there is some, and we're going to try and explore it in a minute. I've been here before, so... We'll have a look around. So just as we're finishing from the castle, I just want to add something. As most of you know now, I'm, we've kind of um, come to a standstill with finances. So I reached out and I made a GoFundMe page. Didn't know what to expect. Didn't know how to do it. Still struggling with my PayPal. So if anyone has any, um, any advice about PayPal, I tried sorting it out today. I got my email address. I didn't, I couldn't sign in. I don't know what happens. I, we tried to transfer something as a test. It didn't work. So maybe you can help me with that. But what I do want to say is that I'm absolutely blown away by, <laughs> by what you've done today. I checked in just now. It's amazing. You guys are amazing what you've done. I, don't, I really don't know what to say. It's. Thank you, that's all I can say. All I can say is thank you. And you know, we're gonna keep making these videos. We're gonna try and try and get back to England. I hope so. I think we've got to have to leave Pumpkin on Wednesday or Thursday for a new home. So that's gonna be emotional as well. But that's all I can say, thank you. Just, you, all of you are amazing. You really don't know what this means. It means that we might have enough money to survive for a bit. Um, obviously there's still a lot of work to do for us but every time you've contributed it's it just gives me so much more strength i can't believe i had to ask you know but you've all been so kind and now you've just transcended into legendary status all of you so thank you so much and we'll check in again with you tomorrow